everybody, welcome back to Police Tonight Talk. <coughs> I'm going and apologize early because I am sick, so I barely have a voice, but I'll try to make it through this video. Uh, basically, I am officially a Tavoraholic. Uh, I've always wanted one. <coughs> Saw one that was basically such an unbeatable deal on Gunbroker that I honestly couldn't pass it up, so raw main noodles for the next two months. Um, <coughs> but uh, it was such a good deal, I couldn't pass it up, and I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time anyways. Still love my Delton, but I have to admit, I think I love the Tavor probably even more. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to go over some modifications that I made real quick because you know I can't buy anything without throwing a bunch of crap on it because that's just not the Bosco way or the PPR, properly pimp rifle, you got to put crap on it. So anyways, I'm going to start up front here. <coughs> uh, this is a UTG ELP38Q-A. Uh, this is their laser light combo. This is the red laser, not the green. They do have one that's green as well. But there's about a hundred buck difference between these two, between the red one and the green one. I don't need a green one that bad. Um, but overall, it's a really good solid sight. It was actually on my uh, on my Delton, but I switched it over to this one because it actually seems to work better with this. Um, and then I have a Magpul MOE grip, which I love the MOE Magpul grips. Um, <clears throat> they're just incredible. I think they just feel really good. They're good and solid. And basically what I put them on is I, I replaced the original grip which I have, they still have the original grip, but I put in the aftermarket. This is a Midwest Industries uh, foregrip, um, which of course, as you can see, it's a key mod. It's got key mod all over the place. That's how I was able to mount the light and the pistol grip on the bottom is with the key mod grips. <clears throat> it's real easy to install. It's literally just taking out two screws. There's a little lip on here, putting the lip in. You Sometimes you gotta wiggle to get it on, but excellent, excellent uh, foregrip. And plus it's able, <clears throat> you got lots of space in there, so you're able to let the gun cool off pretty good, which I've never had a heat issue with this gun anyway so far. Anyways, we're going to move on to the next batch. What I did was I uh, <clears throat> put a Bushnell TRS-25. These are, I think I got this for 80 bucks, I think it was. Um, probably one of the best red dots you can buy, especially for the money, other than the Hollow Suns, which if you watch our videos, I'm a <clears throat> fan of the Hollow Suns as well. But the Bushnell is an excellent, uh, excellent uh, sight for this rifle. And it's mounted on UTG Leaper's uh, one-inch mount riser. Uh, because the sights on this are so high, the backup sights, you ha you're pretty much going to need a one-inch riser. <clears throat> Depending on the type of optic you use, for many red dots, you're going to have to use at least a one-inch riser. Which with this riser, the uh, red dot perfectly co-witnesses with the sights, with the backup iron sights. And uh, UTG Leaper's, like I said, this and the light, they're making some really good quality stuff nowadays. Five, ten years ago, I probably wouldn't have bought a lot of their stuff, but nowadays their stuff, they've really stepped up their game. So if UTG Leapers is watching, you've done a really good job and <clears throat> up in the quality of your stuff and coming out with some really neat stuff. Lastly, what I'm going to go over is the actual butt pad. The original butt pad wasn't too bad. Um, this is actually Manicore Arms. As a company makes one, it's a little bit more curved, whereas the older one that came on it is basically more or less flat and then it had, like, cuts in the top, but it had a real... You really didn't have a lot of area on it, but this one's basically nice and curved. It's very rubber. It's got some real good grippy rubber on it. Uh, another thing is too is when you take this back pin out with this one, at least maybe it's just mine. This is really tight. Uh, you literally have to I have to wiggle the the pin to get it back in when I take this out. Um, so it may just be mine in general, but just to let you know, it is a little tight on this gun, <clears throat> which is not a bad thing. Uh, and anyways, it's literally just taking out these two screws at the bottom putting it on and putting these two screws back in you're good to go and this was I believe $79 with shipping and handling and I ordered this direct from Manicore Arms uh, which got here real quick um, but anyways uh, this is just going over a little <coughs> brief description like I said I apologize for my voice in basically some of the stuff I put on my new Tavor rifle uh, so remember to give us a like or subscribe so Officer Bosco remember to be safe and watch your six